Welcome back to the Back 40 Firewood channel, everyone. Today I've got a big pile of brush that I need to burn up, and I've got 10 bundles to make for a delivery going out. So it's a day for bundles and bonfires. And if I can't get my bonfire going, I have my secret weapon right here, ready to go. So here's a look at the big pile of brush we're gonna try burning up today. Uh, one of the reasons I want to get this burned today uh, it's currently five degrees, it feels like seven below, but tomorrow it's supposed to be up to 45. And this hillside right here is south facing. So if it's sunny and 45 tomorrow, there's a chance that most of that snow up there could melt. And then um, in the county that I live, you can burn brush piles as long as there's snow cover on the ground. So I don't wanna wait and risk having that snow up there melt away and then I'm stuck not being able to burn this up. And whatever doesn't burn today, I'm just gonna bury and be done with it. So my plan is to start right down here. We've got a, a slight little breeze blowing that way. So I wanna start this fire right down here and then hopefully it'll just eat through this pile. I did have this covered with a tarp. Unfortunately, the tarp blew off a while back and I didn't, I didn't realize it. Um, so some of the pile is kind of covered with snow. But I'm thinking if I get a good enough fire going, a good enough, and it gets hot enough that that snow will melt off and then some of those big chunks will just, you know, start burning and smolder away. So I did mention that I have my secret weapon, the, uh, the trusty old leaf blower. I'm sure many of you uh, who have burned piles of brush, or maybe you haven't, and you have a big pile of brush and you need to get it really going nice and hot, the leaf blower is a essential tool to accomplish that. Works great. So we'll see how it goes. I also have a bunch of cardboard here that I need to burn up. Uh, so I'm gonna be using that to get things going and we'll see what happens. Not sure if this is gonna be enough or not, but we'll get this side going and we might, I might start the other side up too. All right, we're off and burning. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be enough to, I do have some other boxes. I'll throw in there. Well, that looks like it's doing all right. So I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna start another one right up there. So I'm actually kind of glad that there was quite a bit of snow on this other side here just because I didn't want this thing to take off and be a great big, huge burning inferno. And so with that snow on top, that's kind of dampering it down and just kind of letting it slowly get going and burning everything up underneath. And then hopefully that big stuff on top will, by the time the stuff underneath that's burned up, that stuff will be burning and it will just kind of force its way down and all burn up. I still have some more cardboard. Um, and I haven't had to get the leaf floor out yet, but we'll do that in a little while. So 
So while this burns for a little bit more, it's time to go make some bundles. All right, so today's bundle order is a little different in the fact that I'm going to be using all oak. The customer requested oak bundles. So this is my supply of oak. That's perfect for bundles. Um, and I did, I, actually, I misspoke earlier. I said that this was for delivery. It's actually 10 bundles that they are coming to pick up. So I'm gonna take this oak right here and make it into 10 nice bundles, or bags. Still using the bags. Bundles are all made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right, one extra because this is a brand new customer, first time customer, so I'm going to give them the buy ten, get one free deal. And maybe I'll be able to next time talk them into just buying a loose tote full of the same amount and then I won't have the bags and who knows? But that first impression to me is always important to make, so that's why this deal is, for the first time, their first order with me, 10, one free. All right, Fire, the bonfire is smoking pretty good over there, so let's go check that out. So just walking up on this, I can see that the pile has gone down quite a bit. Uh, not so sure how it's burning in there though. Yeah, this stuff is still burning, but that other side over there just didn't take off. Too much snow, I think. So what I think I might do is crawl down in there and try to get this other end going. And that's where we might need the leaf blower. All right, time to give this thing a little assistance. If we can keep the leaf blower going. Well, my secret weapon, the leaf blower, will not start. I think I flooded it pretty good uh, trying to get it going. So I'm gonna leave it sit for a little bit and see if I can get it going. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take some of this brush up here on the hillside and kind of throw it back into the center and try to kind of try to keep that going and burning a little bit hotter. So it'll push its way through.
<laughs> what the hell? I just had it going. All right, so we are back here the next day, the morning after. I was back here a little while, a couple times last night, um, checking in on this, but it was dark, couldn't really see anything. Everything had pretty much burned out, but that is what's left now of the pile that used to once sit there. And all those big chunks and all this other scrappy stuff, I might try to burn again later this spring, just in a smaller, uh, fire, but otherwise I'll just come in here with a load of chips and I'll just bury this and cover it up Yeah, that that, that was a big stump that I pulled out so I knew that wasn't gonna burn um, But some of the other stuff I think it was just there's just too much snow on that side and of course my secret weapon failed to perform up to expectations So yeah, the leaf blower did not perform up to what I was hoping. But as far as burning up the brush, I think this is, this is fine. This, will, this is just what I wanted. Um, not everything is gone, but I wasn't expecting that anyway. So it'll work. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.